What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Aviation 737, and today we have a Star Valley International Airport update for April 2021. Uh, yes, it is April today, and I am very excited uh, to see what's going on at Star Valley because it's been a while since we've been here, and we have a lot of good action going on, and I'm really excited. And we have one interesting new route on uh, an A330, so yeah, it's really interesting. Uh, however, apart from that, I don't really have anything else to say, so let's get into the video. So, right over here, uh, you are looking at a UPS 767-300 with winglets. He just arrived in from Stone International Airport or Red River Aviations Airport, and he will be heading out to Louisville, Kentucky. Right over here, we have a United Airlines Boeing 737-800 with split scimitars in the new Evo blue livery. I'm just going to call this the regular livery from now on, given that, you know, like, I think 25% or probably more, but my best guess is, like, 25% of their fleet is in this livery now, so I might as well just call this the normal livery instead of new livery, but yeah, so he just arrived in. Uh, yes, this has been upgraded from the ERJ-175. United has been slamming in upgrades recently. We got the ERJ-175 and the uh, 737 so I think that's going to be the it for their expansion. I might try to uh, pick up a 757 or a A320. I like, I, the only reason I would pick up a 757 is because I just really like them, and the 757 is one of my favorite aircraft, so yeah. However, he arrived in from Denver, Colorado, and he will be heading out to San Francisco today. Over here in the front, we have a United Express and Air Airjet 175 just pulling into his gate from, sorry, Houston Intercontinental, and he'll be heading out to Newark EWR. Now, you might be wondering, why is American Airlines over here? Well, um, the reason is, is that they were having trouble filling demand uh, just so that they owned Terminal C. Well, they were the only airline flying at a Terminal C. Um, and they weren't really doing so well over there. And eventually, due to a spike in low-cost carriers and uh, simply low-cost carriers fit better over there, the size of the terminal there is better for low-cost carriers and their frequency. So American has decided to switch operations over to Terminal A again, um, and yes, flights are still the same, demand just didn't work with what they were using over there. Given that they own four gates and they only serve two aircraft, you can see where this is going. But yes, on the bottom, uh, over here we have a American Eagle CRJ 700 in the old livery, uh, unfortunate to hear, uh, November 842 Alpha Echo. He's about to uh, go in May, they're gonna leave the fleet, so very unfortunate, uh, however I'll still have him, and uh, the American CRJ-700 is a very rare aircraft, so yeah. However, he came in from Charlotte Douglas International Airport, and he will be heading out to Chicago O'Hare. And then uh, on the right side back there, if my camera would focus please, alright there we go. We have an American Airlines 737 800 in the Chrome Flagship Freedom livery. This also did leave the fleet, um, it didn't leave the fleet, it got repainted, but, uh, I have retros, um, yeah, a lot of my aircraft are retros. However, <clears throat> excuse me, he came in from Los Angeles LAX, and he will be heading out to, let's go to Dallas-Fort Worth or Red River Aviation Airport. Here we have, uh, my Delta Airlines Airbus A321, uh, Neo, okay, Pog, uh, no, not dead puns, um, dead, whatever. Um, however, over here we have the Delta Airlines Airbus A321. He's currently at his gate, and he is uh, getting ready for his flight out to Seattle, Tacoma, and he arrived in from Atlanta, Georgia. Now, here is our new route on the A330. So, over here we have a Delta Airlines Airbus A330-300 Aero Classics, um, and he will be heading out to Dublin, Ireland. So, believe it or not, this is now a new route. I do not know why. However, uh, analytics have shown that a lot of people have been going to Ireland uh, and having to connect, and simply there is the demand there. So, I 
get why this is it, but, uh, Delta Airlines, uh, I hope it goes well for you guys. However, here we have a Delta Airlines Airbus A330-300. He came in from Dublin, and he will be heading, uh, out to Amsterdam. Right over here, we have a Northwest Airlines Boeing 757-200. He arrived in from Minneapolis, St. Paul, and he will be heading out to, uh, London Heathrow. Right over here, we have a Delta Airlines Airbus A330-300 in a hard stand. He is currently, uh, sitting here, not in use, not grounded, but currently just sitting here for a couple days. Um, not, he's not being used at the moment. His last flight came in from Paris, Charles de Gaulle, and his next flight is scheduled to out to Madrid. Over here at the runway of a Delta Airlines 737-900ER, he arrived in from... Let's go with Detroit, and he will be heading out to New York JFK. And next up, we have a Delta Airlines Boeing 717-200. He arrived in from Orlando MCO, and he will be heading out to Cincinnati. Right over here, we have an Emirates Airlines Airbus A340-500 arriving in from Dubai or Alex Aviation 420's airport. Right over here, we have a Lufthansa Airlines Boeing. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I've had a lot of Boeing aircraft. Uh, however, here we have a Lufthansa Airbus A330-300. Uh, uh, he arrived in from Frankfurt, and he will be heading back out there. The Munich service is coming back in summer. Uh, that was just for the holiday season, uh, but yeah. Down there, we have an Air Canada Express Embraer Airjet 175. He arrived in from... Toronto Pearson, and he'll be heading out to Montreal. And then over here, we have a Tatum uh, IL-62M. He arrived in from Bucharest, and he'll be heading back out there. Right over here, we have a FedEx Express of 767-300. He arrived in from Memphis, and he'll be heading out to Indianapolis. And here is the low-cost terminal. Uh... Yeah, so it looks really nice. So now Southwest, Allegiant, and Hawaiian will be flying out of this terminal. Hopefully, uh, some more low cost will join them. Uh, hopefully, Spirit and um, Frontier. However, uh, up front, we have a Southwest Airlines 737-700 uh, pushing back for a flight out to Baltimore. And he came in from Dallas Love Field. In the middle there, we have a Allegiant Air MD-80. Uh, and the travel is our delivery. Uh, he came in from Orlando, Stanford, and you'll be heading out to... Let's go put to Gorda. And then in the back, we have a... I know this isn't a low-cost carrier, however, it kind of fit in here. Um, we have Hawaiian, 717-200. He's going to be heading out to Honolulu. Uh, yeah, I, I would like to uh, get an A330 to go alongside this, uh, but... Yeah, I can't really just right now because money problems, you know, I've talked about it before. It's, it's the same reason I can't get the Delta CRJ 900 because money, I don't have it. Um, of course, I do have some money uh, that I could probably buy some models with, but I'm saving up for a new computer because uh, you already know what happened if you've watched my previous video. Uh, yeah, it decided to, you know, turn off on me and it won't back turn back on. I've tried everything. So, yeah, it's time to get a new computer, and that's priority over models. So, that'll have to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe if you are new. Uh, I really enjoy making these videos, and I hope you guys do enjoy them. So, please leave a comment down below if you did enjoy the video. But apart from that, that's all I have to say. I'll see you by the clouds. Bye.